So, friends, these are these axes that I made in the bunker, remember? Killinger handle, 33, pardon me, 32. They're just glorious. I mean, this is what you've got, you see? You know what I mean? So they're splitting axes, friends, right? They're splitting axes. I'll get another one. Here's the ones I wanted to try. There's another one I want to try that I've talked about a few times on the on the uh, channel on the live feeds, and it's this beautiful, beautiful specimen right here. It's a freaking, you know what it is, friends. You know what it is. Michigan, nowhere near the splitting pattern these other ones are. And here's the other one I brought today, which I'm gonna give a shot right now. And it is a glorious Tasmanian pattern. Big splitting pattern. Just a beautiful, beautiful ax. Yeah, you know what I mean? They're just lovely. Straight grain wood, we all know. So we know this is gonna work, right? Beautiful. These are, you can't explain them, friends. You, you just can't, unless you got them in your hands. Now, I've been wanting to run this. Yeah, see, instantly, instantly. The Michigan. So, friends, I thought I had yeah, that straight, straight, little straight, Michigan, straight, that beautiful two-temper Michigan in my hands, but I actually don't which actually says a lot for this axe that I'm swinging right now. It's a great big dazzy. Enjoy, friends. Yeah. Just a man working.
Yep. Where'd she go? Oh. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't even have the right axe in my hand. Oh, that's interesting. That's funny. I thought I had... That's funny, friends. It's right here. What's going on? Oh, yeah. This is it here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is different. Wow. Oh yeah, see, instantly. Slicer, the slicer Roni. Okay, well, it's time to move on to some power sauce. Friends, I gotta be honest. <laughs> Look at that. See, to me, um, this is scary. It's got the exact convexness that a man needs to get some business done around the wood pile. Splitting, uh, you know, just it just does. It, this is a 28 inch handle. See, it's sharp enough to just drop into the wood. Yeah, and it's got that splitting capacity. This is a wicked head. Okay. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? Hey, This is what I like about this axe so much, friends. It doesn't get split. A split axe can't get stuck. 
It's not a split max if it, if it doesn't get, if it gets stuck. It's not, not in my mind. So this, if I was, like for instance, here. I know this wood's stringy, there's some more of it here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Stringy. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Hey. Hi. Good, you? Yeah. So, here's what I'm talking about, friends. This axe right here is the Michigan. This Michigan. But, it's a lot thinner, friends. Look. See? It's thinner. But, it still splits. But it's gonna get stuck in some of this stuff. I can I can just tell. Yeah, see, here we go. It didn't split. With the split max, you give her one crack and you're out. Not with this thing. You see what I'm saying? Look, it's actually stuck. This actually stuck. And you can bust your handle. Oh my goodness, that stuck bad. So here we are. What a waste of energy and time. Perfect example of what I'm talking about here. So the best way to do this here is just crack it with this thing. see so that's the thing with with an axe like that friends that's, that's not a splitting axe yes you can split wood with it but and here's here's the short handled how you doing girls good here's that that short handled one i was talking about this is a freaking wicked pattern deadly pattern friends okay 28 inch handle right we all know this already i've already mentioned i hope you could see that last thing i was doing there yeah, look at that. It split it, actually, matter of fact. So there's no sense in splitting it a half again because it's just going to fall down. So you may as well just split these. See what I'm saying? It doesn't get stuck. It's perfect. That's what you want in a split max, friends, right there. Okay? Just like that. Here we go again. Beautiful. Just, it's. Stringy wood. Wow. Amazing. This is a freaking axe, boy. <laughs> I love this little 28er. So you think to yourself, okay, I got a, that hey, Ronnie? No, I got a, I got a 32 inch handle on this nice ax here, okay? No, I'm not joking you friends, okay? This was the perfect, perfect example of what I'm talking about when I'm, when I talk about these axes, okay? It, it's, right? I mean, it's obvious, but you don't know how handy this is until you really give it a go, okay? So, so here we are with the buck and special. Let's compare with this axe. Let, let's have a look at this. I want to show you where I'm going. The axe on top is actually very close to where I want to be. Jonah, keep your eyes on this video. Look at, there's my axe on the bottom, mine and Jonah's, okay? And there's the one on top. You see where I'm going with this, friends? I'm not joking you. Jonah, nice, nice job. I've done three hits on the bottom axe now. I've done three hits. Okay. The bucking special. Okay. She's like a bullet in the wood, friends. Look at this stringy, stringy wood. Look at it. I mean, it's. Look at. Right. Here we go. One pop, you're out. I'm stuck in the wood. No, I'm not. Here we go. You see, it's not splitting. Look at that flick. 
Man, that's nice, that flickeroni. Okay, friends, are you feeling me? I'll bet you are, aren't you? That 394 sure cut, or 395. It's sure cut, boy. Wow, a roni. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, you do. You know you do. This axe is almost perfect. Almost. Look at that. Oh, I'm liking this. Then, if you want to grab a shorter handle for some stuff, grab that 28 short. Or, what you can do, if you need a tool to flick some wood, You can do this. See what I mean? This is why I like these kinds of axes. You see what I'm saying, friends? You can't do that with the split axe. So this is where this is where it suffers. And I like this little thing. I I like to be able to do that. Look what I'm doing right now. You see? It's just something I like to do. Now I don't know if we can get it to do that. Maybe a micro bevel. Right, friends? Okay, so you guys see where I'm going with all this stuff, right? I'm trying to get my, my split knacks to do what I was just showing you there. Okay, well, we don't need to really buck and split much more. I was thinking about giving that, that splitter a run, 
friends, not today, but soon. And we don't need to with this wood, it's, it's ax wood. Sorry, friends, I might be getting better, maybe. I hope so. Um, oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, I'd like to pull that splitter, even though, even though it's ax wood, friends, I'd still like to give the, give the splitter a go. You guys let me know if you guys wanna see, let's do what you guys want. Let's take a little kind of a vote skis here. Do you guys want me to run that splitter in here or do you want me to throw axes at all this and just chip away and wait for some bigger stuff to go? Friends, we got big wood down there. Like, I mean big wood. So, you know what I mean? We're gonna have it all. We're gonna be able to do it all. So, if you wanna see axe, minship here, or, or maybe a little of both. Maybe we'll do a little of both. You guys let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll catch you on the next video. I love you people. I do. This community has astounded me, not only here, but in surrounding communities like Nick Pixel TV, Tin Man. Honest to goodness, friends, seriously, thank you all so much for your support. Catch you on the next one. Be kind.